of it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm back out on uh, Tom's permission today. He's invited me back over there. It's kind of kind of swap each week. It's kind of nice to do that. So it gives us somewhere different to sort of um, go head for, you know. Um, but yeah, should be interesting. Like I said, I think we're going to get wet. So it's just one of those things, isn't it? Could go out tomorrow. It's probably it's going to be nicer weather tomorrow, but. <laughs> Is what it is. Um, but yeah. Right, guys, we are off and running. The boys are over there. They've got the little Garrett Ace 250. Happy as uh, pigs in muck. This has been, uh, this is that field we were on before I said, look what we were on last time when I was over here. That was um, the one with the church next to it. That was quite flat, it had sheep on it up there, uh, just before that. And uh, obviously like you can see, it's, uh, it's been quite heavily ploughed now. Um, and I don't know if you can tell by my boots, I've been walking for two minutes and they are caked already. <laughs> So it could be interesting. It'll be a hard day, I think. It's drizzling, it's not not heavy rain, so we're, we're lucky there, I think. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too bad today. Let's see if we can find that first signal together. <coughs> Been pretty quiet at the minute. Tom's got a signal. His first one. Jumpy. 50 60s this one a little bit wispy as well that's not exactly uh, the clearest of tones it is now 20 solid 26 this is gonna be interesting because it's right sticky I can't really kneel down I'm gonna have to though There we go boys and girls, <laughs> first find of the day, shotty end, <laughs> lovely. Right guys, I think I've got my first decent signal of the day, um, it was very iffy, very iffy signal so I didn't film it at all, but um, yeah, flicked it out, I think I got ourselves a little or part of a spectacle buckle possibly, looks a bit, a bit damaged but trying to no it's different still got the pin there I'm not sure I think I'll have to give it a little bit of a clean up to have a look but you know what I'm not sure if that is a buckle now it might be a type of brooch actually let's um I'll give it a spray up and then I'll get right back to you right yeah it is a buckle guys here you go um that's an absolute shame that is it's, it's broken and, and bent round, but what a little beauty that would have been if, if it was whole. Well, it is still, but yeah, what a lovely little find. Probably the most patterned, fanciest spectacle buckle I've found, to be honest, I think. Yeah, pleased with that. Nice little uh, first decent find of the day, that. Right, we've got one here, guys. It's a between 77 79 fairly solid sort of sounds like a coin but slightly high tone obviously you can find that with this 28 definitely gives a higher tone like as if it's aluminium but a couple of times it's come out and been a coin now so right, it's changed now so what's going on it seems like it's gone deeper <laughs> out okay <coughs> let's have a look obviously fell back down into the hole a bit I think One. okay what's this oh, uh, 
is that this over a lead weight or a spindle whirl actually it could be a spindle whirl yeah uh, I don't think there's any pattern or anything on it sorry guys I'm just sort of trying to have a bit of clean up on the top of it uh, yeah no nothing to nothing to see on the top there anyway but there's definitely a hole through the middle of it see but yeah it's not a bad little find so it's over a weight or a, or a spindle well it's flat on one side and rounded kind of rounded on the other if you get what i mean domed but yeah nice right i've got a lovely little 67 68 pretty solid tone i'm jumping up into the 70s but mostly sort of 68 69 that God, it's hard going on here today. Haven't been going very long and I'm already quite knackered. Feet are getting. Right, I think the same. Yeah, my feet, feet are getting rather heavy. <laughs> I've got lead boots on. <laughs> Claggy as hell. It's just solid clay nearly on here. Shot the end, I think. Oh no, it isn't. Can't be, can it? I think that's a ring. Oh, okay. Wow. That's a ring. I can't believe that. I think that's a like a copper, maybe like a poor man's ring. Okay, I won't rub it too much. I don't think. What I'll do is I'll uh, <coughs> I'll get it sprayed up and cleaned, and I'll get back to you. Wow. Right, guys. Wow. Okay. What? That is. What? You say what? You heard me what? talking. Look. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's on it, look, on the signals. That better be a hammered, mate. <laughs> yeah, guys, wow. Uh, this ring, very fancy. Even had gold gilt on it, I think, if you look in the little patterned areas. What an awesome little find. A bit broken at the bottom there. I thought it had a... I mean, it shouldn't have, because it's only a copper ring. I would have thought, unless it's... I think it's got a stamp, that's hard to focus on that. Looks as if there's some kind of stamp at the bottom there, but would a copper ring have, have a stamp like that? I don't know if it is copper actually. It might not be, but it's definitely got gold gilt, unless the stamp is for the gold gilden. But yeah, well impressed with that. That is awesome. Right guys, I had an absolutely horrible signal here. Um, I think that's going to be a uh, theme for today, to be honest, because it's just the way it is. There's, there's a lot of air gaps in the soil, it's freshly ploughed, so it's, as you can see, it's quite hard work as well. But um, but yeah, this was not a very good signal at all, but I dug it obviously because I have a lot of things that come up on iffies. And look what we got here. Well, I'm going to say, straight off the bat, hairpin but honestly I'm not sure at all on age um, I'd like I want to say Roman but could be wrong it's probably not got the shape of it's got round head on it it's got to be a hairpin hasn't it could be later I'm not entirely sure I'll try my best to find out but wow <laughs> what an awesome little find Seem to be smashing it this morning. I've only been, like you say, only been going about an hour. Um, but yeah, I'll find out the date on that and what sort of age that'll be. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll be a hairpin. 
Right guys, uh, another iffy signal. This one, uh, yeah, never would have guessed the coin. Really horrible signal. Um, and digging away and it's just dropped out the side of the wall. So, yeah, it's a little Vicky Bunhead from the look of it. You know, I can't see it very well. I did see the date, I think it was 1863 or somewhere about there. But yeah, nice little half penny, I think. Little Bunhead. Lovely. Next signal. Nice little uh, farthing. George, George VI, possibly. Uh, George VII, sorry. George VII. Yeah, a little farthing. Britannia, um, 1904. Nice little coin, lovely. It's not far away from where I found that little Vicky Bunhead. Right guys, just had a signal here. It was really awkward to find this one for some reason. Uh, sort of in the 60s. What's it on your, does it show numbers on yours, uh, Benjamin? What's it give you on that? Does it uh, like silver. There's silver showing up on the Ace 250. Um, yeah, this looks interesting. I haven't actually uncovered it yet. I haven't looked at it. Uh, it's looking, is that a cat badge? I'm thinking that's a cat badge. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. Right, I'll have a I'll have a clean up, guys, and I'll come back to you. Guys, yeah, here we go. I believe that's a little sort of like a cat badge, beret badge, isn't it? That is really nice. That. Shame it's uh, been bent up. Obviously, a bit of plough damage on that, but I didn't straighten it back up. It's complete though, it's just curled around, bent. But yeah, no, really pleased with that. That's a first for me. Lovely. No idea what regiment or anything, what that would be. I'm not very uh, good on the military sort of stuff. But yeah, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, buddy? Uh, five in a row, I'm pretty well Five in a pretty row! Well Look at that for a size of a hammered coin. Wow! That's an Elizabeth, that's a, that'll be 1579. Let's, yeah, yes, there that's top, is. that's the right way up. You can see the little rose on the right hand side, crown at the top there. That is a monster of a coin, that is, that's a, yeah, Elizabeth Grote. That's lovely. That is awesome, mate, well done. First hammer of the day. Hehehehe <laughs>just take a, a second just to give a shout out to somebody um that's uh darren keen hi mate uh <laughs> yeah i've sent you some stickers over buddy uh, they are in the post i put them in the post this morning so you should get them very soon um yeah and also a little shout to um your daughters uh amy mimi and ellie <laughs> yeah um yeah well done guys uh keep up the great work um i hope the stickers go well on your uh, little mini hordes or midi hordes whichever you've got um but yeah yeah um keep up the great work just keep at it at girls and uh yeah you'll find something good if you keep putting the time in the good things will come up but yeah well done darren mate thank you very much right, guys this one was literally dead dead on the surface sat there looking at me um yeah it's a little star it's actually got a bit of gold gilt on there so it possibly was a bit piece of uh, like a bit of jewelry or of some description. Looks like it would have had little stones in there. 
Maybe nothing too spectacular, I wouldn't have thought, being as it's not any sort of precious metal. Looks like it's got a little hole in the middle there, something. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe it was a little pin or something. But yeah, definitely was quite fancy in its time, whatever that was. But yeah, nice little find. Right, I've got one here. That's a little bit iffy, actually. Sort of low, low late teens, early 20s. I'm not entirely sure on it, but... Not sounding great, if I'm honest. Definitely not sounding great now. <laughs> Uh, irony tone to it. Uh, no, I think that's just a piece of lead. Funny, it had a very irony tone to that and low numbers. Never mind. Next one is a lead leg <laughs> uh looking like a cow hoof or a, or a, a bull possibly but yeah lead animal leg lovely that's different for sure <laughs> on to the next one right guys surface find solid 22 there and i can see it now i'm not sure I can see a shiny edge, I could be wrong here, it could be just nothing, but uh, it is, it's a washer. It's a washer, that had me, that had me going big time. <laughs> Never mind. Right guys, just had another little surface find, literally a few steps away, I didn't film it because it was bang on the surface again, it was just right there. Gee, you know, I don't know, Royal... Not sure. I'll have to, it's got some gold gilding on the back of that, though. It's like a little stud. It's a, it's a badge, isn't it? Would have had a pin here. I'll give it a little. See if I can get a spray up on it. Hold on. Let's see what I can do. Oh, it's looking nice. It's got some gold in there. Now, I don't know whether that's enamel or or what it is, but. Definitely a badge. Sorry. Looking rather nice, that. That's a uh, Royal... Royal Regiment. Something or other. I don't know if that's railway related. G, uh, I think that's GR. Not entirely sure, but it's a badge anyway. If I uh, can figure out what the rest of the writing is, I'll uh, I'll let you know in the roundup. Very nice. Right, I just had a call from young William. Uh, Benjamin, sorry. Oh, terrible names. <laughs> Thinks he might have a coin. What you got, buddy? Is it a coin or is it? I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. That's why I've just come to ask you. Oh. I think it might be a button, mate, that. Oh, uh, alright. I think. That's still a nice little find, buddy. Still good. Well done, mate. Nice. Thanks. On the buttons. Well, it is a button. <laughs> well done, buddy. Oh, thanks. Right, guys, I had this one here. It was a bit of an iffy signal again. Um, quite deep, as you can see. I, that took some uh, digging out again. It's old clay. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little, nice little buckle. Very small. Very, very small, sort of the end of my little finger <laughs> but yeah no I'm happy, happy with that I like that I do love a little buckle especially a nice old green buckle you can't beat them can you but yeah that's a nice little find that no oh, SP28 doesn't struggle to find the uh, small stuff that's for sure lovely we are all done for the day we're all packing up <laughs> There's no need for you to dance. <laughs> <Done>. <laughs>
<laughs> We've had a good day. We have had a really good day, haven't yeah. we, mate? I'm, I'm really, really impressed with today. Um, my silver streak has ended. Um, I'm not that bothered about it, to be honest, just because just because of the fines I've had today. But Tom certainly pulled one out of the bag. <laughs> Five, you're right, you're on a streak now. You've, you've got yeah, to catch mine. My streak. I'm a, I'm a, I was at eight, wasn't I? I hit eight, eight in a row, and you've hit yeah. you've hit five now. Five so got a couple more to go, mate. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look what we found, guys. Wow, it's been an awesome day. It really has. Nice few little artifacts, really. Um, love this uh, cap badge. Absolutely brilliant little find. That I'm well pleased with that. It's certainly different, anyway. It's not something I've found before. Um, Seem to have a bit of a military theme today, actually. These, I believe that's military. Did we say that was military, Tom? That yes, GR, oh, yeah, George Regina, yeah, um, Royal Regiment, yeah. I can't read the rest, but there's plenty of gold gilt on there anyway. That's a nice little find, um, yeah, nice little bit of buckle there, nice, um, spectacle buckle. It's a shame that got bent, really. That's yeah, that would have been a really nice little buckle. It, um, this little star, I had this little star earlier, not sure on that really, it's an odd one. Maybe a little pin or something, but it's got gold gilt on it. Uh, a few other buttons, nice big lead weight or spindle whirl, not 100% sure. Um, another nice little buckle, tiny little buckle. A uh, cow leg, <laughs> lead cow leg, it's certainly different anyway. Um, yeah, little musket ball. And uh, yeah, coins. Well, I say coins, not just coins in here. Uh, nice little uh, George VII farthing. Uh, a Vicky Bunhead. Um, hard to see, really, that one. Vicky Bunhead um, half penny. I think that was 18, 1860 something, I think that was. I remember, 1863, maybe. 68, not sure, yeah, 1860 something 63 I'm gonna say uh, this is another little coin I had that there's not a lot on it really nothing to show um, and my best finds of the day I think really uh, this which is possibly I've been told a Georgian finger ring um, well impressed with that that's an awesome little find and I believe there's I'm sure there's a little stamp in the bottom which is odd because that's um, Obviously copper or something like poor man's ring, I suppose. I don't know. Um, and this little Roman hairpin. I've been told it is Roman, um, which is absolutely amazing little find. I think I've had a pin before. I'm not sure what that was, whether that was Roman or not. But but yeah, really impressed with that. Um, Tom's pot. Well, that's kind of shining out, really, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the, the size of it! I mean, yeah, I mean, you've had some nice little artifacts there. You've got a nice little buckle, um, a few buttons, copper nail, is it, mate? Yeah. I had one of those today. I don't know where that went. Probably in my rubbish bag. <laughs> it's the one the um, yeah, a few odd little objects that we're not entirely sure of. That's a what's that button there, mate? That's got that's got a crown. Is that like a military button? N is that N D H? Little crown. Yeah, I can't quite read it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, and the star of his uh, day, I think, by a million miles, is this beautiful Elizabeth I groat. Absolute stonker of a coin that, and it is huge. Look at that. I mean, that's that is sitting on top of a, a half penny. It's just slightly slightly bigger than a half penny that. Monster coin. That'd be fifteen seventy nine. Look, absolute beauty. Wow. But yeah, what a great day. Awesome. We're all getting changed. Look. <laughs> yeah, we've had a brilliant day. I think we've had a we've had a good laugh and and enjoyed the day. So yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please subscribe. See you on the next one.